I've been getting queries about how you can control home assistant devices with other ecosystems like Google Home, Apple Home and Alexa. But till now it was only possible by exposing home assistant with either Nabukasa subscription or using services like Cloudflare Tunnel. But now we have a solution with which you can share home assistant devices with other smart home ecosystem without exposing it to the internet. That means you can run home assistant totally locally. Now this is not a device but an add-on that you can install inside home assistant and it is called as the matter bridge. So now we will look at how we can install this add-on and configure it such that we can share home assistant devices with other smart home ecosystems. Now I have a little bit of cold so please don't mind if my voice gets a little bit muffled. Now to install the add-on what we're going to do is we're going to go to this add-on store and then inside the add-on store we're going to click on this repositories here and we're going to add this custom repository. Now I will provide this link to this custom repository in the article that I will link into the description below. After this I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to search for the matter bridge. So click on this and click on install. Now after installing you can click on start here and once this start off you can also turn on these two options such that the add-on if it crashes it will restart again. Now let's look at the web UI that we get. So click on this and we get this matter bridge web UI. Now let's explain the various parts over here. So first of all this bridge that it has it can work with quite many plugins. So there are a list of plugins here wherein you can do an integration with Zigbee to MQTT, Shelly products as well as Eve Do and Eve Motions. Now we are interested mainly in integrating devices that are present inside Home Assistant inside this Matter Bridge. So we already have this already been installed here. So we have this Matter Bridge Home Assistant plugin which is already present once we install this add-on. And if you see it is up and running here. So now let's go to the devices. And here you will see all the entities that it has fetched from Home Assistant. So here we have certain light entities as well as the smart plugs that it has bought inside from Home Assistant into this matter bridge. So now these are the devices that will be exposed as matter devices from this matter bridge and then from this matter bridge we will import it into the other ecosystems. So there are different ways so right now it has pulled in all the devices that it could get from home assistant but if you go into this configuration section you can always limit the patterns and the domains that you want to be included into this matter bridge so right now if you see here it has pulled in the bedroom tv it has pulled in my m5 stack atom echo also here it has pulled in the humidity and temperature sensors which belongs to the air gradient sensor as well as all the other entities that it could find now to test this integration we will look at two of these entities one is the zigbee bulb light and one is this zigbee bulb switch so these are the two devices that are connected to home assistant using zigbee that is this one is a bulb and this one is a plug and if you go to my dashboard right now these are the two entities so right now turning this on is turning on the light right now over here and what we're going to do is let's see how we can control this using our Google Home as well as Apple Home. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the matter bridge and I'm going to scan this QR code for the first commissioning of this matter bridge. So right now I'm going to scan this QR code from here and I'm going to click on setup and here I'm going to select Google Home. Now with this I'm going to click on agree. So now it's going to tell you this is an uncertified device because this is a software bridge that we have right now. I'm going to say set up anyway and this will generate matter credentials for this matter bridge. So now it is trying to connect this matter bridge to Google home and now this device is connected. So let me click on done. And now if you see here it is showing that the controller Google home is connected to the matter bridge. And if you see here right now in the fabrics it is showing one fabric that is Google home. Okay, so now let's look at the devices. If you see here, it has pulled in all the devices that it could find from this matter bridge and we can see all these devices here. So let's go ahead and see if we can right now turn on the Zigbee plug. So I'm going to show the home assistant view here and I'm going to turn on this Zigbee bulb. And now if you see here the switch is on in Google Home as well as it is on in Home Assistant. Now let's try and turn on the bulb also. 
now here we have the bulb here let me turn this bulb on actually the bulb is on right now and this icon which has disappeared i don't know it's some kind of a bug but the bulb is right now on. let me turn it off and if you see it is turned off right now so right now we have imported all the entities which are matter compatible from our home assistant inside google home and we are able to even control those devices from our google home now let's try doing this with apple home now for this we cannot do the matter bridge sharing from this ui at least i haven't found any option here such that we can share this matter bridge but we will do this using a google home app so for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my google home and i'm going to search this bridge here this is the bridge aggregator i'm going to open this and i'm going to click on link and manage matter apps now here there's an option to link apps and services and now with this i'm going to allow it to be shared via this qr code so once this qr code comes up i have this ipad right now with me i'm going to click on this and i'm going to say add accessories and now i'm going to scan this qr code so now it's going to ask me to turn on the bluetooth so i'm going to turn this on as well as i'm going to say add the accessory to my home now if you see in the logs here it is also making a connection with this device here it's also specifying that this is an uncertified accessory i'm going to say add anyways and now it is adding all these devices to our apple home right now so it has found this matter bridge location i'm going to click on continue quite many entities have been filled up here and with this i will configure all the devices that it has imported right now from a matter bridge so finally we have all the devices and if you see these are all the devices that it pulled from home assistant into the matter bridge and via the matter bridge now i can see them inside my apple home also these are also available back inside my google home also and both the devices have all these devices let's go ahead and test this thing if it's working so let me go back here and let's see if this switch turns off this is the switch that is a zigbee plug switch i'm going to turn it off and it's turned off in home assistant as well as let's turn it on and it is turning on in home assistant also so now this way we have imported all the devices from home assistant into the matter bridge and then into google home as well as apple home now there are other configurations that you can do inside this add-on so let's go ahead and look at those so let's go to add-ons and in add-ons i'm going to go to the matter bridge again and there is this configuration section so now by default since i didn't specify any patterns here it included all the relevant patterns that it considered as matter devices and pulled it inside the matter bridge but you can always restrict them by specifying only the domains that you would want to include so like for example right now if i include only the light domain here and when i click on save this will ask me to restart it so now if i go back to my matter bridge here and if i go to devices you will see only right now there is only one bulb in the light domain now if you go ahead and look inside google home the devices that are not present on this bridge will automatically be removed after some time just give it some time for this thing to sync up so right now if you see only there are this zigbee bulb and the matter bridge here in the google home and in the apple ecosystem it will take a little bit of time for this devices to be removed from the apple home now this takes some time so be a bit patient and then these devices will be removed from apple home now if you want to have granular control you can always go to this configuration section of this add-on and specify the domains that you want to include as well as you can also specify certain patterns of certain entities that you would want to include like for example let's go ahead and i have this temperature sensor so let me go to this bluetooth device right now and in this bluetooth device i have this temperature sensor so let me go ahead and copy this entity id and i'm going to go to my matter bridge here and i'm going to specify this here and i'm going to click on save this will restart the add-on right now after it restarts the matter bridge will get restarted and when i refresh this i see this temperature sensor here also if you see here right now i got a notification that a new temperature sensor has been added into the matter bridge and i got this notification and this you can see right now in google home the temperature sensor is available you would get the same notification right now from the apple ecosystem also so right now if you see the setup option is come for the temperature sensor i'm going to click on setup and i'm going to click on continue 
and now this will add this temperature sensor inside my apple home so inside the apple home i have noticed that it takes a little bit of more time for it to detect any changes but once the devices have been updated it gets updated inside your apple home in case you're running home assistant container then you can also run this add-on as a container i'm currently running my home assistant as a container using docker compose and i will provide you the docker compose file to run this add-on in the article that i will link into the description below now first i saw about this matter bridge from this site smart home scenes so check it out he has some really cool smart home related articles now let's look at some of the caveats of this bridge Firstly, this matter bridge allows only certain entities to be available as matter devices. This is because the number of limited devices that the matter specification support. For example, smart plug switch entity works, but if I add a sensor entity for total wattage, it will not be available as a device in the matter bridge because it is not recognized as a matter device. Next, when I tried adding a new Zigbee device, I was expecting that the device would appear in the device page. I waited for about 30 minutes, but it did not show up. The only way I got the new device available in the bridge was by restarting the add-on. After the restart, the device was available and also popped up in the other ecosystems. Now this add-on that I'm running is not created by the original Matter developer, but another GitHub user. The original Matter developer's Home Assistant add-on did not have the Home Assistant plugin inside it that allows to add devices from Home Assistant as Matter devices. I even tried installing the plugin using the UI, but it failed to add it. So I had to stick to the community provided add-on. Also, the developer of this add-on that I just showed you is planning to transform this to a new project called as the Home Assistant Matter Hub, which will not be based on the original Matter Bridge and will have a new user interface. Since this is open source work the developer is working on, it would be nice to support the work that he's doing. I've added a link to his GitHub page in the description below, wherein you can support the developer by maybe buying him a coffee. Now I'll be following this project quite closely and will make a video about it when this new project is released. So make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Now, if you want to support this channel, there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.